Hello the channel, welcome back, hail hail, hail hail the Celts are here, some great, absolutely brilliant, great, brilliant, fantastic results at the weekend, um, I was going to prepare something better to say than that, but the rewards are out early, so I'm sitting here, I've got a glass of water, no Guinness lined up, nothing, anyway, it's not a disaster, it's been a brilliant weekend, I'm well pleased to be honest, so won't go into it too much in terms of preview for the weekend or anything in this video, because Things are obviously quite early, so we'll open the rewards, see what we get there. And we've got the um, temporary tombola prepared for um, the giveaway. So you see in here, I've put all the names of people, and this is actually the package that my mystery jersey came in. So a bit of sorry our heritage here, we're going to use that as the big Rod Stewart temporary tombola. So we'll do the draw at the end for the two rare cards, the two limited cards. So... First and foremost, let's see um, what we've managed to win. Claim your glory. Why are you early? You're usually like that. I don't, I can't handle that. You can handle late. That's normal for sorry. <laughs> Ta-da! Loads of fancy stuff. You got promoted. Um, nice. Can't, can't complain at any promotions. You can do better. Yes, certainly can. Right, let's get the rewards claimed. Let's do it. So coins. Two thousand nine hundred. Pretty good to be honest. I'm sure we'll get some level ups later as well. Um seventh in the K League Special Weekly Limited. Um I think it was up in like third or something at some point in that, so a wee bit of a shame, but it was just uh, one of the goals um Soul scored, I think was Change from an OG to an assist that made the difference. But anyway, absolutely unbelievable. We cannot complain at all. So that tournament alone, 119, 120 quid's worth of Ethereum. That pays back like pretty much the whole Ulsan collection. We've been picking up other wins as well, which is amazing. And um, K Special Rare, again, well done, Big Cezinha with his hundred. Um three hundred and forty two pounds worth of Ethereum. Again, Unbelievable. Would have had two podiums that if, um, result affected that one as well with a goal, but that's what it is. You can see you've won plenty this weekend, so I'm not complaining. Um, Cap 240 rare, picked the right target and hit it as well. 357. So, great stuff there. Cap 240 unique as well. It's nice to get some form a wee bit higher up. 120 quid's worth of Ethereum there as well. Contender in season rare, that'll be a wee bit lower. 23 quid all adds up though um, and the best result contender in season super rare which was 795 pounds worth of ethereum <laughs> even if i picked joe hart there i don't even think i would have got like anywhere at all so um will dennis with inspired buying um, inspired selection as well so get a couple of cards and then we'll open the boxes and then said we'll do the the draw as well tier 5 limited not expecting anything at all somebody from her villain fight stangy never heard of him moving on tier 5 rare and cap 240 rare argentinian mid from rosario jonathan gomez nearly the same age as me by the looks of it as well much better looking beard though, so there we go. Contender, classic season rare, tier 3 rare, 400 points, pretty good. Scott was Scottish. Defender from Celtic. Oh, we Greg. Greg Taylor, we got an extra Greg Taylor. There we go, we actually won a Celtic card on um, the show as well. Brilliant. Um, and... 14 Thunder 23 Super Rare, Tier 3 Super Rare, can be a wee bit hit and miss, you know, if it's a younger guy, sometimes you get a very good one. Um, this stage of the season, just hope for somebody um can hang on for next season, I suppose. So, Brazilian, that's usually good. Mid, from Crinfins, Biro, somebody should sign him. <laughs> um, yeah, what a fantastic hairdo he's got as well, look at that. Is that real? That must be AI generated as well. Big viral. Good stuff. Oh well. I don't know if he's actually any good or not, but um, it's another fantastic hairdo to add to the, the gallery, so can't complain about that at all. 
Not if he's if he's good if he's good at football as well, but there we go, we'll see. Um right, reward boxes as well, and then we'll get this draw done. What's going on with my screen? What's going on here? Refresh. Eleven reward boxes to open. And um, while well, we get some luck in here as well. I've won plenty of money this weekend, I'm not honestly like some level ups will do. Anything's a bonus, like um really enjoyed the specials, um been really good. Um I know I would say that because I picked up some wins, but I, you know, if you're willing to like, spend a wee bit, and you'll see that I didn't spend outrageous amounts or whatever in terms of specials, but you're willing to spend a wee bit and do a bit of research, look at fixtures and things, and it can be quite rewarding. And at the end of the day, that's what so is all about, right? So, so there we go. Poetic Big Cezinha as well, banging in the hundred. Couldn't write it after he's done hee haw for ages. Hee haw. Um, limited boxes, got some level ups. Probably be quite good for the J League special and everything. Um, number one rare box, so they've got the best chances, haven't they? Ooh, that looks different. It's a super rare card. That's interesting. Benji Kikanovic. So he plays in the MLS. Fantastic. Super rare card. I don't think it'll be worth that much, but. 23 year old, um, so that's pretty good. I was wondering why it was going to sort of blue colour there, so there we go. Somebody was saying it's a content creator's luck. After having like a hundred million level ups in a row, it's going to level up here. <laughs> Back to normal. I won't get any um, credits or anything because I didn't play the division, the champion division for that, so. It's fine. Uh, cards are going to be well leveled up soon. Let's put it that way. <laughs> anyway, everybody's just waiting in the draw now. And they just want to see who wins the cards and stuff. So we'll get through them. Not a number one box. Can we get some luck again? Level up. Nice to pick up some of these boxes, honestly. Like, level ups are pretty useful as well. So um, just hopefully some more, a wee bit more variety soon. But sorry, I work in that. Last one. Last one! Level up. Anyway, we won a super rare anyway, so it's not too bad. I don't think it's a particularly valuable one, but um, that is not too bad at all. Benji Kikamanovic. Intrigued by Byro and my shy jokes about pens. Somebody sign them. Some banner. <laughs> Some banner I've got, eh? Yeah, no, this is not very good. Hmm. Tier 3. Okay. Moving on, let's get the draw done. So let's have a look and we'll see what cards we're looking at winning here. So these are the cards we won on Friday night, firstly. So firstly it'll be David Rees. Um, looks like a pretty good player to be honest. Um, quite talented. Then Nicola Ravella in that order. And then we're also going to give away um, Who's the more valuable one? We'll give away Dominic Drodzedge first because he's got better form and then we'll give away Sergio Gonzalez. Okay. So that's the order. David Ruiz, Rovella, Drodzedge and Sergio Gonzalez. One with the Rod Stewart hand. First out the hat winning David Ruiz is I can't even see my face on the screen here. Egel C. Well done, Egel. Winning the David Ruiz. Fantastic. That's a good card to get. Good young player as well. Playing with Miami. Um quite a few young players, but um you never know. Whoever breaks through and starts doing some stuff beside Messi, etc. could be quite handy. Nicola Rovella. The winner of the Rovella Rare is Sean Connolly too. Sean Connolly! It's a shame it's no Sean Connery. It's a shite for sure eyes. Well done, Sean. Yeah, a Celtic fan as well. Everybody should be a Celtic fan in this show by now, but anyway, well done, Sean. Fantastic. 
And then we've got God's Edge and then Sergio Gonzalez. So not as good as the as the rares, but there we go. Unfortunately, Rod Stewart couldn't be present for the tumble opening tonight as well. He's got some sort of gig on. So, Rod's Edge has been won by Jordi Macus. Jordi Macus, G E O R D I. And then it might be something different from Macus, but I can't understand one handwriting. So, I'll double check. I'll keep that one outside. I'll double check that. And the last one, Sergio Gonzalez. Slim Shady. That's obviously not me, because I'm a fat bastard. So there we go. That's the winners. For verification purposes, I've got them all here. In case people are thinking I'm rigging the draw and stuff. Miguel C, Sean Connolly, and Slim Shady, and Jordy Macus. I can't even remember what shoulder that was now for the limited cards. So Slim Shady first. Can't remember. Getting too old now. <laughs> Gonna have to watch the video by now. <laughs> anyway, message me, tell me who you won, and I'll send you the card. Um let's have a quick preview of the, the weekend. Just a very quick one. We'll have a look at the, the fixtures. Always good to have a look ahead. Uh, I don't think the, the J League stuff will be updated in terms of the data yet. Yeah, there's still games to happen tomorrow and other. So let's just look at the overall best games. So Manchester City against West Ham. I'm going to watch Tottenham and Manchester City after this. That's going to be quite interesting. Sporting, um, I guess League's one. So that's um pretty good fixture of 3.4 expect team goals. Liverpool, yeah. Just let's not talk about them this season. Um, Dix. PSV Eindhoven, again, Maybe a bit element of rotation, everything now, nothing to play for really. Dortmund, really good fixture against Darmstadt. They do have a Champions League final coming up, so to be careful of that. Um, I think it's one of the key things I'd recommend try and find teams that, that kind of got something to play for at this stage. I know teams can play pretty well when the pressure's off, but picking the lineup is really difficult. Feyenoord, <laughs> Tottenham, Hotspurs, you would imagine they won't really have much to play for by that point. Um, Stuttgart, Again, a brilliant season. They're in a bit of a battle with Bayern München. Not Borussia München, Gladbach, Bayern München and Bayern in Germany. Arsenal, again, pretty good fixture against Everton. Everton can be a wee bit hit and miss. Guess it could be nervy for Arsenal. Um, Bayern Leverkusen, again, want to keep that unbeaten run. Celtic home to St Mirren. We'll be the champions by then, hopefully. I'm pretty certain we'll be the champions by then. And pretty good expected clean sheet as well. I guess the only issue is cup final following weekend and rotation and things as well. So just a wee quick preview of that. Um I think that'll that'll do us for rewards like. Right? Um one final shout out. I did give this man a shout out because he's been in he's been in my WhatsApp group for years since we started up. Scott, aka the ball bagger, and he won the under twenty threes. Not only that, he's won an Erlen Haaland rare as well. So Elling Haaland and 400 quid worth of Ethereum, I think, as well. Absolutely brilliant, mate. I know you've had a wee bit of a difficult time with your family and your dad passing away and things as well. So it was lovely to see that. Honestly, I'm really, um, really pleased that Opta done you a favour for a change and you never won some random Korean goalkeeper that's never going to play again in his life. Ellen Haaland and 400 quid. And on that note, we're going to end. Well done, buddy. Catch you all later.